In this video, I thought I'd show you how to set up a hairpin NAT on your Microtik router. So the reason I wanted to do this was um, I run a NAS inside our network and some other machines inside our network, and I need people to come in from the outside and be able to access those machines. Now, the normal way that NAT works on a Microtik is when it forwards to the internal machine, it's actually showing the router's address but I don't want that. I actually want the external IP address. Um, and the reasons you'd want that is, um, as an example, I've got a mail server set up. Um, when people connect from the outside, I want to know what IP address they're coming from so I can verify them that they're allowed to access the mail server or something like that. It's actually not that hard once you do it, but if you search on the web, it's actually quite a mission uh, to find out how to do it and uh, the blog that saved me was this one I'll just show you what it is yaleman.org um, here for net on Microtik 6.19 this saved me I went through heaps of other blogs still couldn't get it working and then all I did was read this and translated he's doing it at a terminal but I wanted to be able to do it in my uh, web interface, or it's called Webfig, uh, so I could just easily add multiple inbound rules. So let's have a look. Uh, when you log into your Webfig, uh, you go down to IP and then Firewall. I'll just show you what mine looks like by default. Here you'll come up with your typical rules that are set up, and then you want to look at your NAT. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of rules coming in here. Uh, there, there's my external IP address. Um, these are all going to different machines doing different things. The first one you have to set up um, is a masquerade for any traffic that's leaving uh, machines on your network. When it goes out to the internet, it should show your external IP. And it's real basic. You just want to set up a source net chain going out through your PPOE interface or whatever interface you're using and scroll right down the bottom and you just choose masquerade and if you want you can put a comment on there and then you just click apply or OK. Once you've set up that you also have to set up a rule that says um, any traffic coming in um, needs to go to um, specific machines. So I'll show you one. Um, here is one here that goes to my NAS on SSL. And so it's saying, here's a chain. It's a destination NAT. If it's coming in on our external IP address and the protocol, the protocol is TCP IP and the port number is 8001, then treat it as an address type that it's local so it's going to put it to the local network and then the action is going to be a destination NAT. It's going to reroute the traffic to this internal IP address on port 8001. And again, you can give it a comment. It's cloud NAS. And then you just check OK. Now, there's a problem though. If I try and access, and I'll show you it, if I try and access cloud spinning planet from my internal network it won't actually work and you have to set up this other rule so your internal network knows that when you're accessing this machine that it should work and so if I go over here and I'll show you that rule it's this one here and I go right it's a source net um, anywhere on my local network which is 10 to 41 0 slash 24 if it's going to be going towards 10 to 41 2 and its protocol is TCP IP, um, I want it to go out through the local bridge. Um, remember, it's not going to go out through the internet. I just want it to go out through the local bridge and it'll masquerade. And that'll fix it. So uh, I'll show you a couple of things actually. If I bring up my logs here, this is um, a mail server that I'm working on on our NAS at the moment. And we can see that um, I logged in here. This is actually from my phone on a different network and it redirected it to the local IP address there. 
and it logged in over SSL and it connected and it was all good. And uh, we can see some other ones here too. Uh, I've got some previous ones that might shed a bit more light on it. Oh, there's an email that I sent out to Gmail from my local machine. Um, but as you can see, it's all coming in nicely. It's got the nice remote IPs, so we can see where they're coming from and what's going on. And that's how I did my hairpin net in my MicroTik router. Mm -hmm.